All right. Okay, so this next section here is identifying elements in a matrix. So this is a general matrix. So these all represent elements, okay? So this here is element one, one. This is one, two, it's not 12, it's one, one. Maybe it's better to have a, like a comma. Maybe I should have a comma there. But one, one means A, this first one refers to row and the second number refers to column. So this is row one, column one, that is here. So row one, column one, okay? So if you want to, you can number them like here. So one, two, so this is rows, oh, this is columns, so that would go to N. And this would be one, two, and that will come down to M, M there, like that. So one, one is the first element. One, two is the second element across the first row. See the first row, second column. Think of it like that. So first row, second column. This is first row, first column, like that. And this one here would be row two. So this is row two, column one. Okay. And this could be a, if you had a three, four, this would be row three, column four, for example. I think they call it the IJ, IJ notation. Okay, or a m by n. It's a little bit complicated, but don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. We'll do some examples. So let me just write one here. I don't think I did one. Uh, let's do one before the example there. So let's make a matrix. 3, 1, minus 2, 6, 4, 8, 2, 0, 3. So notice that you can have negative numbers because we don't know what these represent. It could be anything. You can have zero, no problem. And you can have positive number. You can have fraction, decimal, any real number actually. Pi could be in there as well. So any kind of number can go into your matrix. It really depends on the application. So if I want to know what is, if this is L, uh, matrix A, so we'll give it a name, could be anything. You can call it X, Y, P, doesn't matter. So what is element one, three? So row one, so let's do it in black. So row, this is row one. It's always row by column, always, never column by row. Um, through most of this book, it's always rows first, then column second. So row one, well, let's write the row numbers here. One, two, three. And uh, these are the rows here. And the columns go this way. So column one, column two, column three, like that. So the element we want is row one, column three. Well, that's gonna to have to be this number, isn't it? So that would be equal to minus two. So this notation is just a way to pick out specific elements in the matrix. Um, how about a three, two? Anyone, what's that number? Row three, column two, which number is it? Someone call out? Put in the chat, okay. Zero, yes, Nicole. You can put it in the chat if you want. So row three, so we can highlight it. We go row three like that. So this is row three, the third row, and column two is here. So where they intersect is the number that you want, that number there, so that's zero, okay? So that's your IJ notation and can be written in this form here. Well, you'll come across it more when we do questions. Okay, so let's look at example one. So I write down the elements represented by B32. So before you look at the solution, you can try yourself. So row three, 
column two. So row three, okay, this is the third row. This is column two. So it's got to be two. Okay, that one there. So then we have next is row one, column three. So row one, you can use a highlighter. It's good when you have a tablet, you can mark it and delete it. So row one, column three would have to be this number here. So that's gonna be element one there. Row two, column two. So row two, column two will be five, like that. Okay, fairly straightforward for you. Okay, so note that matrix B, this matrix here is a square matrix. Okay, a square matrix is a matrix that has equal number of rows and columns. So this is a square matrix. You've got a matrix to start out, which is actually not written in here. If you have one element, that's called a singleton, which I've not actually put in the book here and I should have included it. G-L-E-T-O-N. So I guess it's a square matrix, but it's kind of like silly because it's only one element, isn't it? So that's a singleton. And you may see this word. So can you write that down somewhere or write that from the video? Okay, so that's a singleton when you only have one number. And you do see that sometimes. But a square matrix has equal rows and columns. So that means it's either a two by two, a three by three, four by four, et cetera. So a two by two could be one, three, four minus one. And you notice it looks like a square, doesn't it? Because equal row, equal column. Or it could be a three by three, one, two, minus one, zero, four, five, six, minus eight, three. Okay, so that's a three by three. This is a two by two. So they're called square matrices. They must be squares. So if it looks like a rectangle, it's not a square matrix. Okay. So the next term, column matrix. Now a column matrix is a matrix that consists of only one column, not the number of columns. This is a name we give to a matrix like these two here because they only have one column. So we call it a column matrix. It's just a special word for these kinds of matrices. So P is a two by one. And this order is three by one. So three rows, one column, two rows, one column. So the column matrix will have one here as the last number. How about row matrix? I guess you could figure out what a row matrix is then. So we've got a row matrix only consists of one row only, cannot have two rows. So be careful with that. If I want the number of rows, that's different to saying uh, matrix is a row matrix. So a row matrix only has one row. Like in your classroom, when many of the kids leave the school, we're gonna have one row, aren't we? So I probably would put you in a row. It might look silly if you sat in the column, wouldn't it? And the teacher's at the front here. So you would normally sit in rows. So this is a row a row matrix, and this is a one row, one by three, so one row, three columns, like that. And this is one row by five columns. So your first number in a row matrix will be one, like that. Equal matrices. So if I say two matrices are equal, then they need to have exactly the same elements and the same order. Okay, you see they're all in exactly the same place. Minus four, minus four, three, three, two, two, four, four, zero, 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 zero. 
and they're all in exactly the same position. So you can't have a matrix which is three minus four, two, zero, four, zero. These would not be equal. Even though they have the same numbers, the order is mixed up, you see? So I've moved things around a little bit. So you must have the same order. So this is a, a two by three. This is a two by three. And each element is in the same position. Okay, one, one. This is a one, one. This is a one, one. This is a one, two position. This is a one, three position. So all of the numbers are exactly the same. So if you put this matrix on top of this one, it would look exactly the same. Okay, and that means they are equal, equal matrices. And so in this case, you can see what I did here. I've got the same elements, but I've changed the order. Okay, and you're not allowed to do that. So these would not be equal because this is a two by three and this is a three by two. So these are not equal matrices even though they have the same numbers and even like the same position. This is a transpose matrix you'll learn later. So what they did here, they put this row down here and then this row down here. This is actually a transpose matrix, which I'll teach you later. So, but they're not equal matrices. It's a different kind of matrix. So you'll learn about transpose later. So your zero matrix or null matrix, null normally means empty, but we do have zeros. Okay, so a null matrix, so this would be a one by three. So one row, three columns. And that O represents it's a null matrix, a zero matrix. So not like the letter zero, it's a little bit different. So I use zero here for the zero matrices. I should have written it as a zero, I guess. So this is two rows by two columns. So the zero matrix is just filled up with zeros. But also note, there's something missing here. So this is not a matrix. And we can't do anything with that. If you've got a number missing, you can't do that. You've got to have to have a number in here. And it's not zero, is it? If it's zero, I would write zero. So this is not a matrix. That's a not, not a matrix. If you put zero into a matrix, then it would be. So you could have three, one, three, zero. That's no problem. This is a matrix because all of the elements have some number in them. So if you've got a missing number, you really can't do anything with this, okay? So you've got to have numbers in your matrices, not missing spaces. Okay, so here's a word problem. We'll go through them. Okay, so I made a very Thai Somchai, which is like a really old style name or the guy that rides the motorbike taxi, I guess, might be called Somchai. So he sells three kinds of food. We've got barbecued pork, chicken, and somtam. So that's what is written here. Okay, so I put them along the row. You can put them as, um, you can put them as rows as well. I put them as columns, but it doesn't matter the order. So PCS could also go this way. Unless I tell you some reason for doing it in this order. And you could put the, the days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in that way. Then you get the same kind of matrix, okay? So it, unless I say to do it a certain way, it doesn't matter which way you put them. So let's have a look. We got Friday, he sold 12 servings of pork. So 12 servings of pork on Friday. 18 of chicken on Friday and six of somtam on Friday on Saturday. And it's called matrix T as well. And so on Saturday, he's got 28 of pork, 45 of chicken, 23 of somtam here. 
Okay, so you're just filling in your matrix. On Sunday, he's got 21 pork, 43 chicken, and 20 somtam. So it just says write a three by three matrix. So it's going to be a three by three, obviously, because there's nine elements. And the order can be changed around. There's no reason to put the day as columns. You can actually flip these two around. So on the test, I don't mind, unless I tell you to make the food the row or something like that, but usually I don't. So either way is okay on the quiz or the test. So don't worry about that too much. It does become important later on when you're multiplying matrices though. So we'll look at that later. Okay, I'll, I'll hide the solution down there. It's in your book anyway, but hide your solution for a minute. Let's have a look. So we've got, what do we got? What is the order of the matrix? So the order of matrix A. So let's look at how many columns we have. One, two, three, four. So these are the columns. So that's four. And the row is three. There's three rows. Equals three. So the order is row by column. So it's three by four, not four by three. Always rows first and then columns second. Okay, and then we usually use that form for most questions, always row by column. Okay, the number of elements in the matrix, well, you would just then multiply three by four, wouldn't you? So there's 12 elements in the matrix here. The elements in row two. So in row two, you don't have to make it a matrix. I just want the elements. So don't turn it into a matrix. So just go 12 minus 3, 15 minus 0 0.1, like that. The elements in column three, you don't have to write them as a column. You could just write them across ways. Because I only want to know what the elements are. So just write them down. So 0 0.4. 15, 0.7, okay? So just list them out. You don't have to put them down ways, just go across, unless I want you to make it a matrix or a, which I didn't ask for that. Okay, so which elements are in position A, one, two? So row one, column two is this one. So minus 10, what about two? row two, column four. So row two, column four is here, minus 0 0.1. What about three, one? Row three, column one. Well, that's minus eight, negative eight. And three, three. So row three, column three. So if you get a bit stuck, put them in like that. And it's where you get the overlap. So row three, column three is 0 0.7. So hopefully that's what I wrote down here. Yeah, looks okay. Okay, so I'll leave you a few minutes. Why don't you try this yourself for a while? And this is right examples of question two. So you just give me your own example, okay? So why don't you do these first and then you can do question one and put your answer in the chat. So what I want you to do, so this is gonna be row two by column one. State the, oh, the number of elements and the order. So there's two elements and it is uh, two by one. So then put a semicolon and then put B, C and D. So call that A if you want, B, C and D, like that. So can you put your answer in the chat? So just do that for question one and question two we'll do together. So you can do that and just make one row. You can make one row for your answer. So how should we do that? Let me just erase that. All right, so I did A, B, C and D. So just do it like that. Put your number of elements first. 
all right? And then the order you put here for each one. Can you do that first? A very easy, very basic thing. So try that. So today is just a lot of vocab, mostly, mostly vocab, all right? Okay, so put that in your chat box. Count up the rows and elements. Okay, I've got one answer so far. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. It doesn't take very long. And the order is always row by column. So I should write that somewhere. All right, Critimef gave me an answer. Anyone else? So if you have finished, can you go on and do the other exercises while you're sitting there waiting? So that will save you a bit of time. So you can work on this one here yourself. And I'll give you some examples for this one. So note this one down here is a null matrix, a zero matrix. So give me an example of that. So if you know what you're doing, just do question one quickly, then move on. You don't have to wait for me. Okay, any more answers? So number of elements. So count the elements in the matrix and then write the order as row by column. Dr. Paul, yeah. uh, can you send us again uh, here, uh, the matrix one because me and my friend didn't say yes and the file is a pie already. Oh, um, <laughs> I go, I'm gonna have to go to the line and do that then, hold on. Yeah, you should say if you didn't have it, because then I could send it at the start of the class. Yeah, hold on. So I'll stop sharing this for a minute. I can't minimize, so I've got to go, hold on. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can do it. I better open the line first and then. So if you're still waiting, just go on and answer if you can see the file. If you saved it to your tablet, I'm sure you can do it. All right, so. Right, 10. Nearly there. Word book. All right, it come to the line now. Can you go to line and get that? Yeah, so if you don't have the workbook, go to line now because I sent it now. All right, so let's go back to sharing or. All right. Okay, let's do some answers anyway. I'm not going to record your participation today, but um, maybe we'll do some of that next week because this week we only have two periods. So, of course. Even online, we lose classes, which is pretty bad. So, all right, so let's look at this here. Okay, so this one was two, two, one. In this one, we've got how many rows? 
we've got three rows and two columns. So the order is three by two. Okay, and the number of elements is three times two, which is six, easy, right? So just multiply the numbers in the order, even though that doesn't actually mean multiply, it's three by two. It's a three by two matrix. And so this one would be how many rows? We've got two rows by three columns. So this is a two by three. So rows this way, columns this way, and two threes of six, so six elements or entries. This one, we've got one, two, three, four. So four rows by one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a six by a four by six matrix, so 24 elements. Okay, so how about question two? So for question two, you give me some example of a row matrix. If you haven't done that yet, you can do it now. A column matrix a square matrix with four elements. These need four elements. This needs three elements. A square matrix of four elements. Two matrices of different order, but with the same number of elements. Okay, and this is a zero matrix. If you've done that, can you move on to three here? But when you come to three, just to start you off, this is a, a zero matrix, but it's a three by one. So this would be written as three rows, one column. So it should look like that. So whenever you see a zero here or an O, that's referring to a zero matrix and a three by one. And then you can write that down again. Now these are equal matrices. So if the matrix is equal, what would be X? Okay, so you just solve that. It's just an equation. So X, Y, and Z, like that. And the same for this one here. That equal sign means that it's an equal matrix. So this element here must be equal to two. So you could write that as X plus one equals two, couldn't you? So now you can find X. And you do the same for Y here. Okay, so you try that for a few minutes. We only have 10 minutes left anyway. Okay, so the introduction to this topic is quite easy. And I think your first quiz will be quite easy as well. When you, uh, well, there's no quiz, but your homework sheet is all right. Should have no problems. But I won't give you that yet. You can move on further if you want. You've got a couple here to do. And also that, yeah, question four will take forever. So you probably don't want to do this in the class time, but you can do that if you want to try and challenge yourself here. Question four is too long. So we'll skip that for the online because it's quite slow, but you can try that yourself later. So in your examples here, a row matrix. So remember, a row matrix goes this way. And we must have three elements. So I could go three, zero, two. Okay, so that's a row matrix. A column matrix will go down this way. And we've got four elements. So we could have zero, minus two, three, four. 
Okay, so that's the column matrix there. This is a row matrix, a square matrix with four elements. So that could be three, zero, minus two, five. Looks like a square, doesn't it? It's a two by two. Three by three, four by four, those are all square matrices. And that has four elements. So that could be one possible answer there. So D, two matrices of different order, but with the same number of elements. So you could have a, a two by one and a one by two, couldn't you? So the order will be different, but you have two, uh, two elements each. So a two rows and one column. So two, three could look like that. The same number of elements. So they don't have to be the same elements, but that could be, we could make it two, three as well. So different order, but the same number of elements. They don't have to be, this, they could be two, zero if you want. So something like that. Okay, different order. Two, one, one, two. And obviously the matrix looks different, doesn't it? Because the rows and columns are different. So that's an example there. Okay, we'll do this one together. So we've got five minus X. Now this element here should be equal to this element here. So you can see now we have an equation and you do get equations in this first section. So five minus X equals zero, which means that X must equal five. So if X is five, you'll get zero, which is zero, good. Now that's equal. Y minus seven equals zero. So Y must be seven. And Z plus three equals zero. So Z must be minus three, negative three. So that's your answer there. For that one there. So we just compare both sides. But that equal sign means that you must have, the elements must be the same, which means that this must be zero. All of these have to be zero. So then we find X that would make that zero, that part. What about this one? So X plus one must equal two. So that means X is one. And then you can see you've got zero here and zero here, that's good. They have to be the same or they're not gonna be equal, are they? And then this one here must be equal to this one. So that's good. And this one is equal, so that's good. So now the X minus Y must equal eight. But you know why, we know X already here, don't we? From this first part. So we know X is one. So one minus Y is eight. Y will be one minus eight, which is negative seven. So now you got both. So we use the first answer from this one to get X equals one. And then we substitute it into here to help us find Y. Because you got two variables and you need to know one of them to be able to find the other one. All right, so we only have four minutes. Why don't you do this one? And I want you to put the answer in the chat. The answer key will tell you the answer. You can look there anyway. So in your chat box, because we only have three minutes. If you've done it already, put it in. Tell me X, Y, and Z or Z, depending on where you're from. So can you put those three answers in your chat box and see if you can do that? Because we've only got a few minutes anyway. And then D, you can do the same way. They're simultaneous equations here, actually. This one's 
simultaneous equation. which we're going to do more of in core. If you go to the my YouTube page, if you go to coordinate geometry, you will see lots of videos there, old ones that I made a long time ago. So you can look for distance formula and midpoint and slope and other stuff there. There's some old ones in there, but I haven't gotten around to making any more yet. So um, hopefully your homework will be okay, but you can let me know if you get stuck in the homework, but a good idea is to draw, draw everything you can. So any, any answers to this one, X, Y, Z? You can get Y from the first one, can't you? So the first thing to do is match this to this, then this one to this one, and then in yellow, this one to this one. You don't need to, zero doesn't help, does it? Zero equals zero. So if that wasn't the same number, you would stop because they're not equal. The matrix is not equal. So also always check this, that these are, this element would be equal to that one. So I got one answer already. Okay, Pete, what about the other ones? What about X and Z? If you know Y already, I think you can get the others, can't you? So you're going to have 8 minus y equals minus 3y. Negative 3y. So 8 would be equal to minus negative 3y plus y negative 2y. So y would be equal to negative 4, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's one answer, negative 4. So then we compare this one. Oh, actually we need to do, now we're gonna get simultaneous equations. So let's write that out and our time's run out. So let's write it out quickly and you can solve it. So X plus two Z equals negative five and X plus Z equals negative one. Okay, so now these are simultaneous equations, aren't they? And you would solve this one the same way. So in these two, the equations, you could subtract them. So x minus x will be zero. Two z minus z is one z or z. Minus five ne minus negative one is minus five plus one, which is minus four. So Z is minus four. And then you can substitute back to either equation here. So put that back into equation two. So sub Z equals negative four into two. So X plus negative four equals negative one. So X would equal four minus one. So X will be three. I think that's the correct answer. So X will be three then, they're your three answers. So hopefully you could get that. You can do D by yourself. Okay, because our time's run out. And we may do that one next week. Um, this one you don't need to do at this time. You can try it if you want to, but you're gonna end up with three equations. So quite tricky, you can try that one yourself couple of word problems, we'll do them next week, uh, next lesson. And then we'll go to addition and subtraction. Right, so I think we'll stop there. And I'll, I'll post you the video. I'll, I'll see if I'll edit it a little bit and then I'll post it up. Right, so try to finish your homework sheet. Let me know if you get stuck on anything. And um, hopefully that will be all right. And that's due tomorrow night. Okay, that's Wednesday night. So you got today and tomorrow. So it'll be good if you can send it on time. All right, I'll talk to you later then, okay? Uh, tomorrow, yes? Or one next, one. I got one more period with you anyway. Okay, I'll see you later then, all right? Bye-bye, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, see ya. Bye. Bye-bye.